Miami Dolphins good news today, Brian Flores led the national team to a 27-24 win in the 2021 Reese's Senior Bowl. Deshaun Watson made a mutiny in Texans. Brian Flores found quite a few guys who could possibly help the Dolphins at Senior Bowl. Which Alabama weapon would most help the Miami Dolphins offense? We are Nat FL. Please subscribe. After Flores and his staff led the national team to a 27-24 win in the 2021 Reese's Senior Bowl, his players hoisted the cooler and doused the victorious coach. Much to Flores' surprise, the contents of that container were neither frigid nor liquid, but rather a treasure trove of Reese's peanut butter cups. It was very different, Flores said. I was expecting something cold. Despite the piñata-like haul, Flores eschewed scooping up any of the chocolatey, peanut buttery goodness. When you're at the Reese's Senior Bowl, by the end of the week you've probably had enough, really had enough, he joked. There's bags in your room, there's Reese's pieces on the door handle, it's everywhere. I felt like I had enough in a long week, a lot of meetings, a lot of walkthroughs, a lot of practice, a lot of meetings with players. I probably gained a few pounds. I'm trying to head in the right direction starting today. Flores' team got it going in the right direction early in the contest. After coaching the Dolphins' defense to the fifth-fewest points allowed in 2020, Flores' national squad pitched a first-half shutout over the American team. The offense put a complimentary bow on the win with big days from North Carolina running back Michael Carter and Louisville wide receiver Des Fitzpatrick. Carter is a great kid. He's a hard-working kid. He's smart, he's tough, Flores said. He was productive today, and he was really productive throughout the entire week. He played well. This is a guy who had a real nice career for UNC and he's a good back. Carter ripped off a 27-yard run in the first quarter that demonstrated the balance and quickness Flores alluded to earlier in the week, but it was his pile-pushing touchdown run that stole the show. With a handful of receivers unavailable for the national team, Fitzpatrick stepped up. We were a little bit low on receivers so that entire receiving group took a lot of snaps today, Flores said. A couple of guys went out. We tell them durability and availability is key in this league and he was available today and able to capitalize on his opportunities. A long week is in the books. With the NFL scouting combine as we know it taking on a different form in 2021, Flores spoke about the opportunity this week presented he and the entire Dolphins coaching and personnel staffs. Deshaun Watson made a mutiny in Texans. Deshaun Watson is so done with the Houston Texans. If that wasn't clear before, it certainly is now. The star quarterback reportedly demanded a trade out of Houston despite the team's reluctance to actually move him. But if he has his way, he won't play for this team again. The breakup isn't official, obviously, because he hasn't been traded. But in Deshaun's mind? It's done. The relationship is over. Get him out of Houston. He removed all Houston Texans logos and references from his Instagram and Twitter accounts. Yes, this is sort of silly. But it means everything in 2021. When you break up with a significant other, what do you do? Remove them from your social network. That's what Watson is doing here. It's a purge. He's deleting all of the pictures with them. He's wiping them from his past. That's how through he is with the organization. Brian Flores found quite a few guys who could possibly help the Dolphins at Senior Bowl. More than a few teams declined the opportunity to coach at the Senior Bowl. The Panthers and Dolphins accepted. It was great, Dolphins coach Brian Flores told reporters regarding the experience after Saturday's game. We had a really nice, good week with these young players. They really worked hard. A lot of them made really good impressions not only on our staff, but there were teams obviously from across the league. But we got to spend the most time with them. We saw them in meetings, saw them take things from the meetings to the walk through to the practice. I thought they all did well for themselves and then came out and competed today, so it was a good week. Flores admitted that some players made a good impression on him, but obviously he wouldn't name names. There were quite a few guys who we felt like could possibly help our team, Flores said. We're not going to dive into names of who those guys are, but there was a lot of talented players. I thought Jim Nagy and the Senior Bowl staff, they did a great job of getting talented players in here for us to coach and a lot of them, they did well. 
With no scouting combine, the Senior Bowl could mean more than usual to the decisions made by teams during the draft. The Panthers and the Dolphins, by accepting the invitation to coach in the Senior Bowl, got a little more information than other teams will have. Which Alabama weapon would most help the Miami Dolphins' offense? So many options, so little time. This is the dilemma the Miami Dolphins will face this offseason. And as it pertains specifically to the Dolphins' hunt for better skill players to bolster their offensive weaponry, the obvious appeal of adding more Alabama Crimson Tide prospects to the mix is going to be hard to ignore. Devona Smith? He's a Heisman Trophy winner. Najee Harris? A freakishly big running back who would fit perfectly in the backfield with Tua Tungavailoa. Jalen Waddell? The most explosive of the bunch. But if you could only get one, which would you rather have? The relationship that Tungavailoa has developed with each would make such a proposition a difficult one. And make no mistake, there is no wrong answer here. But the argument can be constructed that the Dolphins can find comparable options to all three players later in this year's draft or via free agency, so it will come down to which player can bring the most of something the team doesn't already have. Najee Harris has a great relationship with Tungavailoa, but he plays the less valuable position between himself and the two wide receivers. With North Carolina's Javante Williams looming as an appealing alternative option for an early day two selection, picking Harris over each of the Alabama wide receivers would be a difficult sell. Let us be clear, we're not getting down on Harris by any means. He will likely finish as the Dolphins' RB1 in the NFL draft process and would be a terrific addition to the running game. But if his role is more easily replicated, then how do you pick him over the wide receivers? Smith is such a popular name for Dolphins fans given his performance down the stretch for the Crimson Tide and his rapport with Tungavailoa, but don't sleep on Jalen Waddell's talents. Waddell is something of a forgotten commodity at this point given that he missed the majority of the season with a broken leg before making a brief appearance in the national championship game. But did you know that Jalen Waddell had more receiving yards than Devonta Smith through the team's first four games before a broken leg ended his regular season against Tennessee on the opening kickoff? Waddell, who is going to run in the four, twos in the 40-yard dash and is a more dense build than Smith, entered the Tennessee game with a 557-483 to receiving yard advantage over Smith through the team's first four games. And with the special team's impact as a returner serving as icing on the cake, all we're asking Dolphins fans is to consider Waddell as the potential perfect transplant from Tuscaloosa to South Florida this offseason. Waddell has Tyreek Hill-esque potential as an NFL player with his speed and skill with the ball in his hands. Smith has drawn comparisons to Marvin Harrison, so we're really splitting hairs here. But given how paltry Miami's run after the catch issues were in 2020, we certainly would think long and hard about passing up on that dynamic that Waddle's game-breaking speed could provide.